is just a signature away from becoming Florida law. Police citizen review boards could soon be outlawed in the state. So what could that mean for Jacksonville? Our Renata DiGregorio is on your side digging into this. And Renata, I know you've been following this issue closely for almost two years now since local activists started trying to get this issue on the ballot. Yeah, that's right, Heather. And this has been a controversial topic in Jacksonville for a while, but now the state may decide it for the city. Those who want police citizen review boards say outlawing them will hurt police transparency. Those who oppose the boards argue there are already a number of positions overseeing officer conduct. Right now, Jacksonville does not have a citizen review board for police, as Florida's other large cities do. And Jacksonville may never have one if the governor signs the bill now on his desk. House Bill 601 prohibits the creation of police citizen review boards, but allows the sheriff to create a different type of board. A civilian oversight board would have members appointed by the sheriff, including one retired law enforcement officer, to review the sheriff's office policies and procedures. President of the Fraternal Order of Police in Jacksonville, Randy Reeves, supports the legislation. To have somebody that gets emotionally hijacked uh, decide whether an officer did something right or wrong, uh, we, just, we just don't agree with that, and we feel like there's plenty of other investigations that our officers have to go through. Some activists like these in February, standing with Jacksonville Community Action Committee Executive Director Michael Sampson II, believe prohibiting the review boards will hurt police transparency. Sampson points to last month's arrest of former JSO gang unit officer Josue Garriga, accused of sex crimes with a minor. I think that individual officer's circumstances now shows that, you know, community advocates were right for years in calling for this officer to be investigated, for him to be fired, and we were told that we simply are too emotional. Garriga was cleared of any wrongdoing in the past incidents activists rallied over, including the fatal shooting of a Florida A&M University student and involvement in an arrest that left a man's face badly beaten. We asked to talk to Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters about this, but was told he is not available for comment today. He has been outspoken about his opposition to citizen review boards. The governor has two weeks to act on this bill, and it would take effect July 1st. Renata DiRorio, First Coast News, on your side.